I'm going to show you all how I use my capture card with my GameCube. I'm using a Hyperkin HDMI adapter for the GameCube. That plugs in right to the back of the GameCube in the analog AV out port. And this gives me HDMI output from my GameCube. I use the HDMI output to connect to my EVGA XR1 Pro capture card that connects to my display and my computer. Now I can turn my GameCube on and I can see it appear on my display and now I can capture the GameCube game. I am using the Samsung Odyssey G9 display and this supports picture in picture mode. So I can turn that on and select two sources, one of the sources being the GameCube and the other source being my Mac. This makes it really convenient to have my computer running and my GameCube running all on one display and it does allow for switching the sources so I can have the GameCube on the left and my Mac on the right hand side. It does also support some other picture in picture settings as well. So now we can come inside OBS Studio and go ahead and make a new scene and I'm going to show you step by step how you can set up capturing your GameCube using your capture card. So now we have a fresh scene to start with in OBS Studio. So the first thing we're going to need to do is add a source. So we'll go ahead and click that plus button there and go to capture card device. And then go ahead and just name this whatever you want. I'm using an EVGA XR1 Pro, so I just call it EVGA card. When you give it a name, go ahead and click OK. Now that we've clicked OK, we have to configure the device. So select your capture card from the list and you can still see that it's blank. We have to do a little bit more configuration. So go ahead and click a little bit lower resolution. You may have to play with this, but that's the one I picked. And then the important part about this is if you go to the bottom, the input format, we have to pick a format and then come up to the top and then select a single FPS value. Once you do that, you should see it appear. You may have to configure the input format and mess with the frame rate value a little bit. 120 seems to be a little bit choppy, so I'd put it back down to 60. And so you may have to just mess with these settings a little bit, but these are what I'm using and this seems to be pretty good for capturing GameCube. But again, you may have to modify or select different ones depending on how you have this hooked up. So now the final thing we have to do is capture the audio from the capture card. So add a new audio input capture source and then to keep it organized, I just call it GameCube Sound or, you know, name it whatever you want. And then click OK. And then all we have to do is select the capture card from the device. So select the same capture card that you're using and then click OK. And you should see the audio start coming through now in the audio mixer. And so this is capturing what's coming through off of your GameCube. And you can turn it up and down if you need to, but this is how I'm capturing both video and audio for my GameCube.